Hey guys, surgery finally is over. Hey, today I was fixing my GoPro. Always, when amateurs do things, there are extra parts and screws. Uh, this is what I use to record my surgery. Sony NEX5N with a Takumar lens. Fixed lens, older lens. But yeah, here's my workbench. Definitely, as you can see by the quality, it's not the same as GoPro, but it can get a really awesome shallow depth of field a GoPro can't get. The problem with the GoPro was that micro SD card would not stay in the slot. I would push it, it would come out. Push it, come out. Yeah, so what I did is I took the whole thing apart which is really risky because it's a $500 camera. It's not anymore, of course, but originally my wife had bought it from me for $500. And it's still, great, it's still a great camera. Took it apart, only to find out that the reason that SD card was not going in, because for it to go in, it needs to be ejected at least halfway and then pulled back in. That's it, that was the only problem. I took my whole GoPro apart, I barely put it together. When I was putting together buttons uh, that, that had a contact that a contact that connects buttons to the camera, <laughs> I couldn't connect that, so the buttons didn't work. I had to take it apart again, a little bit, open it up, and try to put that connection back in. Oh, it takes so much patience, especially after hours you were taking it apart and putting it together you put it together and it doesn't work and that's the worst trust me it's not the first time that happened to me I don't want to buy another camera I don't want to spend money so I took it apart again and tried my best to fix it it's fixed now that SD card was acting up for some reason so I put another one and this one seems to be working fine already four minute of video that I recorded now I'm going to open up that uh, surveillance camera setup uh, hey guys my GoPro is back I'm so excited I think I started getting uh, gray hair because of my vlog I mean it too Night Owl 1080p HD video security DVR DVR 8 channel 1080p DVR, one terabyte HDD hard disk drive. Room control, power brick, mouse. DVR itself. DMI cable, Ethernet cable. Cables, power supply. Camera looks good. Hello. Uh, let me go and see if I have a monitor to plug into this thing. It's always uh, great to have an extra monitor, extra keyboard and mouse just for troubleshooting computers, towers and laptops. For testing out surveillance setup. Let's try. I hope you can see it. Ta da! Wow, look at that. It automatically just connected it. I don't need to hustle and do any trouble shooting, so that's good. Welcome to the Night Owl Setup Wizard. Next, before starting, it's recommended that you do the following plug in the USB mouse. Okay, how would I get to this point without a mouse? Uh, connect the cameras to DVR. Okay, username and password registration. Admin sounds good. Password one, two, three, four. Don't try that at home. Next, if you are a first time user, click auto below to begin. Yes, it's up. Auto process if you are system or know your settings click manual before begin okay let's go with auto 
Please connect the DVR to your router modem using the provided Ethernet cable. Router is there, DVR is here. Okay, Ethernet cable connected. You have successfully connected to the internet. Click next to the next screen. Next. Mobile phone or tablet with the Night Owl installed to complete setup. Please download Night Owl HD from the App Store and Google Play. Click next for instruction. Let me get my phone. Devices. Okay, let's go with device manager, right? And then press the plus button in the upper right hand corner. Okay. Okay. Scan button. Scan. Wow. Next, make sure device screen on your app matches the following. Connecting. What? Look at this. A little delayed, but wow. That is so amazing, so fast. If you only knew when I first time was setting up one of those straight from China, I had no manual, <laughs> in English at least. And I had to figure all that out. I did have a fancy cameras with uh, zoom, pan and tilt, but this is so easy. A lot of settings, it's a good thing. I wonder how much does it cost. Like, Alright, all works. Pretty much plug and play. No extra brains needed to set it up. On Amazon, this setup cost $325. Eight cameras total can be plugged in into this thing. And then pan, tilt, and zoom cameras can be also connected, which is which is pretty good. I'm really I really like this. So whenever we decide to do and plug that in and install all this stuff, I'm pretty much ready to go. Like this video, share, subscribe, leave comments below. And this is Vladimir Nemchinov signing off.